Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP Pavilion X360 laptop here and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can add extra store RAM storage in here. And uh, these laptops do come with an 8 gig RAM, uh, but you can upgrade them to a 16 gig by adding an additional 8 gig in there. I'll leave the link for the tools and the RAM that we use in here, or the one that's compatible for you in the video description, in case you want to know uh, how you upgrade, where to buy yours. All right. So first thing first, uh, we're gonna power on to see if it powers on. And then we're gonna tap on escape. The password for this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We put so, and we're gonna go to the BIOS by pressing F10. In the BIOS, first thing first, you wanna remove the administrator password one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know why the client left it. All right, now if you go to the main, it will show you right there 8 gig RAM. There is 8 gig RAM right over there. So what are you gonna do? We're gonna upgrade this to a 16 gig RAM. So let's go ahead and exit, save changes. And then we're gonna power it off. Just make sure you power fully off. Do not leave it on a standby or anything like that. You might wanna hold it down for a straight shutdown. Well, completely do not put on a standby. So first thing first, you want to power it off, flip it upside down. On the bottom here, you're not going to see any screws because there are hidden screws in here. So first thing first, we're going to grab ourselves a screwdriver set. We're going to be using an iFix screwdriver set. We are going to use a Phillips number zero from this tool set. Now, if you get the opening tools, uh, you get the pro set of this iFix set, you get the opening tools and some tweezers. If not, you will need to grab yourself an opening tool. I'll use a guitar pick, a metallic guitar pick, but really suitable to opening cases and covers. You need a really sharp curved tweezers and a wooden or plastic spatula or rod. These are handy to have. All right, with all this on hand, we're going to get it started. First thing first, we're going to remove this rubber fit right on the front end. So you want to poke on the side of it and then just lift it up and put them to one side same thing in here poke it and pull it out these are a little different so you don't want to confuse them leave the corners in one side the mids and the corners so but if you try to put the mid ones in here it's going to stick out so the different heights once you remove that one now you need to remove the back rubber here so stick your opening tool right in there and lift it up, bring it up in 45, don't yank it, otherwise you're going to crack it. Bring it up in 45, keep pulling it upward to 45 degree, and just attach it to the side. Now, I believe there is nothing on the in front, so only in here and there. And now you can use a, a needle. Use a needle and remove this cover right in here, a plastic right in here. This cover, just put it on the side. There's a screw right there. Now, the one under the back rubber leg here, these are the black heavy screws, so go ahead and remove them and keep them in one pile. They are all the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Now, the rest of the screws are the same size, they are chrome heavy screws, so go ahead and remove all of them, They're including the one in the middle. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful in helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe, I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right, now that we removed all the screws on the bottom, mid, and on the front row. Now what you wanna do, you wanna open up the laptop in 45 degree angle or completely. Now we're gonna stick the guitar pick between the bottom cover and the palm rest just like that. All right, it's focusing. Now what you wanna do, you just wanna twist it like that, and you wanna work yourself all around in the front end. Once you see this opening right there, you want to do the same thing on the side. You want to work yourself on the side. I'm only sticking the guitar pick about three to four millimeter. I'm not sticking the whole guitar pick in there. Okay. And we are going to do the top portion too here on the left and right side. There we go. 
Now, there's a tiny clips that hold from the, under the keyboard. So there's a tiny clips in here. We have one in somewhere over here and somewhere over here there's one more. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna grab it from the side, from here. Make sure you do not yank it too hard. There's a flex cables. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna pull it up and I hear that click sound, that means I released it. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, bring it up a little bit and that's it. Now, there's a two flex cable right underneath here. Right there, you can see them. Now, one is for trackpad, one, trackpad and one is for the keyboard. The big one is for the keyboard, this is for the trackpad. To remove this one, let me try to go to an angle that you can see. What you wanna do, you wanna put the, this plastic underneath and just wanna twist it and the lock will open. Once the lock is open, you can lift up and pull back this flex cable. Once that one is removed, now this one is from the back side down. So you wanna put your finger now at the back side and lift it forward, forward. So this one is, once you bring it this way, now you can slide the flex cable back. All right, let me go over. So this is the flex cable. So pretty much this is how it works. What you wanna do, you wanna lift this one upward. And this one, the white one, is from the back towards the front like that. So it, they just open up to the opposite directions. So that's how you wanna open it up. So I put my finger right at the back, lift it up. To put the flex cable back in, it's the same. You have to make sure it's open. You slide the flex all the way in, it's straight, and lock it down. Same thing here, you open it up, you put the flex cable in, and you just lock it right over. All right, now that we removed that, and we're gonna see right away that they didn't make it easy for us, and I lost this rubber legs, just came off, so I'm gonna put it on one side. <laughs> All right, so there's no RAM dims available on this side of the motherboard, so that means there's a RAM dims on the other side. And there's almost no space in here. So what are we gonna do first? We're gonna disconnect the battery by removing all the black headed screws that touches the battery. Two in here, two there, and two on the other side. So go ahead and remove uh, the screws that touches the battery. All right, once we remove that one, you wanna grab the battery from the back side, bring it up, and slide it upward. So there you go. Now, we're gonna disconnect the hard drive by lifting up this jack upward, pull the cable back, just put it like that. Next, we're gonna disconnect the power uh, jack cable right in here, so untangle this, bring it upward. Now, I usually don't like pulling out on the cables. I put these tweezers on the side of the jack, and then I push them backwards, so that way I don't damage the cables. So I lift them up, put them on one side. Disconnect, lift up the black cover in here for the LCD jack. So like that, lift it up 90 degree and pull back the flex cable for the LCD. In here, we have a bridge cable for the volume rocker, audio and extra USB. So we're gonna remove this flex cable upward, make lock and remove the flex cable. You can remove it from here, so if it's bothering you, just pull it back and put it there. Now we're gonna remove the flex cable for the power on switch. Bring it up and this is a little adhesive, so I squeeze it there. Now for this in CMOS battery, we're gonna lift it up. There's an adhesive underneath, so put it right underneath right here. And then peel it off. And there is the adhesive. There's a strong magnet here, so make sure you put this one somewhere else. Now Detach this touchpad connector right in here. We're gonna disconnect the volume, the speaker connector, same thing as a power jack. Disconnect that one. Uh, for the antenna cables, just pull up the antenna cables for the Wi-Fi. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and remove the screw for the Wi-Fi board right there, this is the chrome screw right there. Now we're gonna start from this corner, we're gonna remove all the screws that we see. These are black headed screws. Two right there, two right there, one there, back there in the middle, back here. So I'm gonna remove all these screws. All right, in total there are three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine screws. So once you remove all the screws, pretty much what you want to do, you want to lift up the board from here, from the side, don't yank it straight up, bring it up from here, and you want to bring it like this and pull it back towards yourself. And flip it upside down, and there you have your other end. The ram is right under this shield. To remove the shield, what you want to do, you want to grab it like this and pull up the cover. And that's how you can remove it. And there's an 8 gig RAM right over here. To remove the RAM, it's very simple. All you need to do to grab these triggers and pull them away from each other. And the RAM should come with a little bit of help in 45 degree angle. Okay, once you have the RAM in there, now all you want to do, you want to pull it back and it will come back. To put the RAM in, make sure you bring it down in 45 degree angle all the way inside the jack. And then you want to push it towards the motherboard and you want to see these triggers open and close. To add another 8 gig, you want to grab your 8 gig stick, you want to bring it down, make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch right on the dim, otherwise it will not go through. Okay, once the notch matches, you want to stick it right all the way inside the jack, make sure it clicks in, and then you just want to push it towards the motherboard. And you're going to see these triggers open and close. And there we have another 8 gig RAM right there. Okay. And you want to grab this cover and you want to put it straight right over the clips and squeeze it. Make sure the clips hold to it. And this is the antenna. There is no M.2 space in here for SSD drive, so that's the bomber. So you want to bring it down, set it down straight. So, first thing first, what I like to do is to put the screw for the Wi Fi. So let's go ahead and put that screw in there. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hold the cables right over the jack and I'm gonna push it down so it clicks in. There we have it. Now we're gonna grab this uh, touchpad, I mean touch the screen cable, plug it there, the volume, Squeeze it in there. The BIOS battery. The LCD. Open up the lock, squeeze it in there and lock it down. The flex cable for the power on. Make sure it goes in straight. And you want to squeeze it there. Now, Let's put the, I'm gonna power on. Before you put all the screws in, just put one screw on the corner here. And so it stays under the cable. So open up the lock for power on. So we're gonna power it on. Make sure that we do get a screen. So we're gonna put this bridge cable right there. Now we're gonna open up. Squeeze it right in there. And lock it there. You're not going to connect the hard drive or anything like that, not even the keyboard. Uh, we are going to put the battery in. Make sure you put the battery first on the bottom side here. There's a little plastic notch right there. This side. And then hold it and then let go. That way it goes right straight on, on the right contact. Once we have it like that, now we're going to power it on. Make sure everything is connected. You don't need to connect the hard drive. Is powered on. I see the power LED. And we're gonna wait a few seconds until it might turn on, turn off. So wait for a second. It's gonna do a MIM check and we should see a boot logo. You can connect the external uh, keyboard, which I don't have right here. So I'm gonna connect my external keyboard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I'm gonna press escape and F10, and right there I can see that I have 16 gig uh, RAM installed right in here, 16 gig RAM. So that means my installation is working fine. Now I can continue with putting up the rest of the stuff. So I'm gonna unplug it. And let's go power it off. 
And we are gonna remove the battery out again, left off from the back side, bring it back like this. And let's go ahead and put all the screws that we removed on the motherboard, starting on this corner by the battery. All right, once we put all the screws down there, now we are gonna go ahead and, we can go ahead and do it right now, plug in the flex cable for the hard drive and close it down. Put the back end of the battery down first and drop it down and squeeze it right in the place and put all the screws that you removed from the battery. All right, once we're done with this, now we're gonna put the palm rest with the trackpad and everything like that. So we're gonna bring it in this position. First thing first, we're gonna open up the locks, both of the locks. We're gonna grab this flex cable and we're gonna bring it down it straight from the back end. Pretty much it's gonna be really hard for you guys to see. Pretty much I'm just sticking the flex cable the same way that I did on the LCD and bring it in there and then the other finger just lock it down while you hold it. Same thing on this flex cable. Make sure it's open up. Squeeze it all the way in there and lock it down. Once you are in there, all you want to do, you want to put the back end right there. Set it down like this and then push down the top side. Oh. Make sure the, this cable is tangled all the way under the hinge. And then now you want to squeeze the corners. You want to hear those click sounds. And you want to press in the middle and you want to hear those click sounds for the battery spaces right there. And that means it's in place. Now we can close it down, flip it upside down, and we're going to put the rest of the screws. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, I hope you guys learned something and you can do your own upgrades easily. If you like this video and you know what to do, click that thumbs up and subscribe to support the channel. I'm just gonna finish up putting up the screws on the bottom case and the rubber covers right on top.